Hey guys, I'm Bonnie from Bonnie and Blythe, and today's tutorial is gonna teach you how to make a circle dress. <laughs> now, a circle skirt or dress is exactly what it sounds like. It's a skirt made out of a big circle with a hole in the middle for the waist. Looks like a giant donut. Now, the reason circle skirts are amazing is because they're super easy to do and they have incredible twirl factor. I guarantee if you make one of these for a little girl in your life, she will love you forever. Now, today's tutorial is unique because I'm gonna show you how to take an existing t-shirt, either a store-bought or a handmade one, and add the circle skirt to it. If you want the fabric to be the same, then go ahead and make a t-shirt first out of the same fabric you'd like to use for your skirt. And I have a tutorial for that linked below. If you're using a store-bought t-shirt, great. Your job is half done. All you'll need is enough fabric to make a circle skirt. I will also include a link below for a calculator on how to figure out exactly how much fabric you need for a circle skirt because it often takes a lot more than you think. And don't forget to make sure that it's a stretchy knit so that it can be pulled over your little girl's head and body. And these aren't just for little girls either. They're for big girls too. I love all my circle skirts and wear them into the ground, especially during the warm weather months. So let's get started. Our first step will be to determine exactly how long we want the bodice of our dress to be, and then cut any excess fabric off our store-bought t-shirt. If you're making a t-shirt from scratch, you can make it as long or as short as you like. The bodice for this dress, which is about a size 10, will be about 12 inches from the front neckline to the waistline. The next step is to measure the waist opening of the shirt. I just measure straight across the front and then multiply by two. The waist circumference of this top is 28 inches. Write this number down and then add two inches to it to account for seam allowances and ease. A side note about this step, if your fabric is very stretchy or you don't want any extra ease, you can just skip adding any inches here. Next, write down how long you want your skirt to be. I chose 15 inches to hit right at my nine-year-old's knee. Finally, divide that first measurement, the waist circumference plus two inches if desired, by 6.28. This gave me 4.77, which will be the radius of the skirt's opening. Now it's time to cut the skirt. Fold your skirt fabric in half widthwise and then lengthwise so that there's one fold on the side of fabric closest to you and two folds on the left side. Now take your radius measurement, remember mine was 4.77, and measure from the folded point of the fabric along one side and then repeat, drawing a quarter circle all along this measurement. Cut along this marked curve. Finally, measure from the curve you just cut out to the desired length of your skirt. Remember mine was 15 inches. Mark this curve all the way around the skirt just like you did for the skirt opening and cut. Now in order to attach the bodice, open the folded skirt and place a pin in each side of the skirt, equidistant apart. Then match these pins up with the bodice side seams and pin skirt and bodice right sides together. Continue pinning the skirt to the bodice all the way around and then sew these together. Remember to use a stretch stitch or a serger for this step. Once this is done, I like to reinforce this waist seam by adding clear elastic, but this step is totally optional. Just stitch the clear elastic to the skirt's seam allowance using a zigzag stitch while slightly stretching the elastic. This will help the waist keep its shape. Once this is done, I like to fold the seam allowance up towards the bodice and top stitch on the right side of the bodice so that the elastic doesn't itch my little girl. And the final step is just to hem the bottom of the circle skirt. I like to do this with a double needle because it looks really pretty, but you can also use a single one as well since this hem doesn't need to be stretchy. And that's it, voila! Looked your super cute circle dress. 
I hope you love this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.